What up y'all? I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. Um, I've noticed that a lot of you guys and girls that do watch my videos aren't subscribed. Like, a lot of y'all. And what's up with that? I just want to ask you to do me this huge favor real quick and be sure to subscribe and to turn on those notifications for when I do upload. I'm aiming to hit 30k subs as soon as possible and I appreciate any help that I could get with that. And with that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Welcome to LMSV number 6. Now this time, and yes, that's what I'm calling it, LMSV. So anyway, welcome to showcase number 6. Now if you haven't been watching the other episodes, I highly recommend them. But anyway, to get straight into it, this time we got another Star Wars minifigure to take a closer look at. But not just any Star Wars minifigure. Now, to give some context, because it is a custom minifigure that we'll be taking a look at. Back in 2005, when episode 3, of course, the f***ing awesome legendary movie, Revenge of the Sith came out. You had like all these figures come out, you know, that would fit the movie and all that. But originally, there was some concept art for Revenge of the Sith. And basically, it was like an alternative look for both um, Plo Koon, I'll pop them to both my sides. For Plo Koon, there was a different concept art or a different design. And for Kiadi Mundi. Now with Plo Koon, he had like a double bladed lightsaber gauntlet, I guess. And for Kiadi Mundi, this man had a whole different dark look. Like he had an eye patch, a longer beard, he had a dark cape, you know, over his shoulder. Now, they made a figure for that, and um, like I said, episode 3 came out in 2005. Your boy was only 7 at the time, so... <laughs> but it wasn't until 2010 when I saw the figure review of the Kiari Muni figure by Sith Lord 229 who was back in the day like the big Star Wars figure channel, I guess, review channel. And Sethor 229, you know, I would always watch his videos because they were just very entertaining. And when he uh, showed or reviewed that Kiari Mundi figure, I was like, yo, how awesome would it be to make that a Lego minifigure? So back in 2010, when I was just 12 years old, I've had that idea to make it. And, uh, well, here we are, 11 years later. <laughs> so, and, um, yeah, that's the figure that I want to take a closer look at. And I got him right here and of course it is a lego minifigure so he's very small but he's very detailed he's very awesome so without further ado let's take a closer look at Kiari Mundi right now and here's the minifigure and as you can see this Kiari Mundi truly is something different now trying to make this darker look you know, because, I don't know, when I looked at this concept art, I just really wanted to have a lot of fun with it and just kind of create like a different what-if scenario, you know, instead of this being like an alternative outfit form, what if he actually survived Order 66, you know, like, what if he force pushed all the clones away from him, but one unfortunately shot him and hit him in the eye therefore blinding him in his left eye and uh, he actually escaped you know maybe he got shot in his left arm and that's why he's wearing this dark robe trying to cover it up you know trying to not show his quote-unquote weakness so um, but something else that you might be noticing is that this Kiari Mundi has a purple lightsaber now the reason why I gave him that purple lightsaber is because he actually has one in canon like he used to actually use a purple lightsaber and you know while I'm talking about it I'll show a couple pictures of him fighting with the purple lightsaber blade but yeah he actually used to have a purple lightsaber and I'm not 100% sure what the reason was why he stopped using it and started using his blue one but if you look at the pictures and you look at this lightsaber hilt that I think is from Big Kid Bricks, but I got it from Firestar Toys. Not super important, but if you want to know, there you go. But like, if you look at this hilt and then you look at the actual hilt that he has in the comics, I think 
it's pretty accurate, you know, the only thing that I would, I wouldn't say change, but the only thing that might be like a little inaccurate is that this purple is a bit darker than it was in the comics. But then again, if we go by that scenario that I just pitched, that he actually survived Order 66, maybe his original blue lightsaber would actually darken and turn purple. Hence why it would be dark purple. So I think it would just be a lot of fun. To actually see him rocking it like this and I also actually have uh, started writing right and I think this was like a year year and a half ago started writing a little potential what if he actually survived what would have happened and I think he would totally rock the beard you know grow it out and I think this was actually if we put the lightsaber to the side well let's just fully remove it so you can take a closer look at the entire minifigure from the front i think this is actually dumble like the beard is added, i think either from gandalf or from dumbledore now why am i being so vague about it that's because I just went to firestartoys.com and looked up, you know, I went over the entire roster of all the potential arms, legs, torso pieces, capes, faces, beards. So that's why I'm not 100% sure about it. But still, if we quickly compare it next to the original Kiari Mundi, that I, of course, will make a separate showcase for in the future. So if you like that idea and you're looking forward to that showcase, definitely go down and hit that subscribe button. But anyway, as you can see, this Kiari Mundi is definitely looking a bit older than the one on the left, even though he has like a black eyebrow. Now that's because the head underneath the beard is actually i think it was an assassin from prince of persia you can still get that part on firestartoys.com you can actually buy this entire figure you know if you buy all the parts of course and it's not super expensive but if you would like to have 10% off of that order or anything else that you would like to buy from farstartoys.com, you can use my code FSHSQ1. I'll show it up on the screen right now. And you will have 10% off that order. So yeah, if you like to have this figure or you would like to buy this one and you're kind of like, man, it's just it just costs a lot of money. Definitely go ahead and use my discount code to get 10% off of that order so that you can actually buy the figure. Now, like I said, the head is originally a Prince of Persia assassin head. And of course, I'll show the entire minifigure right now as well. Due to this huge beard, it kind of covers it up. Because if I take away the beard, he's going to look very strange. He looks like this. And as you can see, that is just weird something else that you might notice at the torso right there is that the chest bit is actually brown that's because both the torso the arms and the legs are originally from a Mace Windu minifigure. So like I said, you can really just go fucking nuts with Lego because, you know, if I just pop the beard back on there, the chest piece part, it's immediately covered up by the beard. So that's what I mean, like don't let things like that stop you from creating the custom minifigure that you'd like to create. Just think outside of the box. Like, if it wasn't for this beard piece, you would clearly see that this was Mage Windu's torso. But because of the beard, it remains Kiari Mundi. And of course, with a enormous beard compared to the original minifigure. So, yeah. But anyway, let's talk about the other thing that you might notice around his wrists and those are of course his two black wristwatches now of course i'll gladly show which parts i bought from firestartoys.com so if you do want to get this custom figure you know which parts to get but yeah i really like him yes he has them on both arms and they look amazing they might not be huge but they just add so much to the look especially from the front which as you can see just fully completes the look now i absolutely love it i just love how dark and brooding he seems you know because especially in the clone wars he seems like such a i wouldn't say happy go lucky dude but also wouldn't say it, you know he's just a very positive overall jedi and here you can just see him in a darker light i mean especially with this eye patch you know it like this is a Jedi who's literally put to the brink of darkness, really is being tested by the force itself and it resembles 
in his lightsaber color being this very dark purple, you know, like Kiati Mundi's really at the brink of going fully into the dark side. So someone definitely needs to come and save his ass. So, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I just really love this dark version of him. And if you're wondering what the hell is that in the background? Well, that's actually the Jedi temple being on fire and you can see a ship right there going in for, you know, some fun, I guess, you know, add to his kill count. But anyway, that's not important. Back to Kiari Mundi. Like I said, again, it's just like a hot take on a positive figure. I think this would definitely be a very dope character to add to that story. And why not have a minifigure version of that, you know? So anyway, that's all for me rambling on about this figure. Of course, a massive shout out to my Patreon Space Rangers. Y'all contributions to this channel and to me personally definitely helps me in this tough time, you know, because it's getting tougher and tougher trying to uh, earn enough money from YouTube. So yeah, if you want to support me, if you are in the position to do that in, definitely go and check out the link to my Patreon page down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So hopefully you like this darker look for Kiari Mundi. If you did, definitely don't forget to hit the like button. And if you love Lego minifigures and just looking at them from the DC Universe, from Star Wars, Harry Potter, you name it, I'm probably going to show it. So if you like that sort of thing, definitely go down and hit that subscribe button. And like I said, I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So again, don't forget if you want to get this figure if you want to build this figure get all the parts go to farstartoys.com and don't forget to use my code fshs q1 again i'll put it up on the screen right now to get 10 percent off of your order you know whether that's like all the parts to make this figure or any other product that you want to buy from their website if you want to have 10 percent off of your order definitely use my code and yeah, I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So I hope you had an awesome day. I wish you an awesome day. And see you guys and girls in the next video. Peace.